Hi everyone, I am Chrissy Kelly from Absent and congratulations, you made it. You've turned up for day eight of online smell training with me. Um, it's lovely to see you again. Uh, we are here, of course, because we are trying to get everyone to smell training and I, to, to, to start smell training. I know it's tough to stick with it. So we decided this might be a great way to get people engaged and give them the habit. It's one of those good habits that you that you want to form. Um, so, if you if you're just joining us, you can always go back and see the the one the uh, go through our feed and find day one, day two, day three, etc. Every day, I'm giving you a little bit more information to make your smell training journey a little bit easier. Um, and today, I just want to talk a little bit about um, you know. People often ask, oh, am I using the right smell training oils and should I be changing them and all that? So I'm gonna be talking to you about that a little bit as we go on. But first, let's get going. Here's jar number one. Today I am using lime. Um, I've had a couple of questions about this from people who say, oh, can I, you know, where can I get that? Um, we do have a shop at Absent. Uh, everything that all, you know, 100% of, of our income from the website goes straight back into supporting what we do. So we don't take any profit from that. We just put it right back into the charity. So you can support us that way. We do have um, uh, some different kinds of smell training kits there. So if you're interested, you can take a look. Right, this is one I made myself. This is lime, so lid off and here we go. So tiny little bunny sniffs is what you're going for, not kind of huge uh, breaths in. We just want to bring the air up to where the smelling happens and that's just at the top of the nose here. So little bunny sniffs. And then in between, have some normal breaths. I'm talking, so I'm breathing, but you can, you'll be able to, um, you know, take a break and have some good breaths. While you're doing it, Concentrate on what you're doing. Think about what it is that you're smelling and try and recall any memories that you can of that thing. Um, you, and it, this takes practice. It's not something that you can, you, you might necessarily get on day one. What you want to do is be alert to all the sensations that you have when you're doing it. For people who've lost their sense of smell, the, the whole kind of smell picture when they, when they put their nose into a jar is, might not be complete, it might be distorted. Um, that's called parosmia, and we, we know there's been one really interesting study that's shown that smell training is good for parosmia. Um, but the, the, the kind of smell message that you get may not be complete, and that's okay. You are probably on the beginning of this journey, so don't worry, you need to stick with it, though. Smell training is not a quick fix. You'll need to do it twice a day, and I'm only here once a day, but you'll need to do it twice a day for a minimum of four months. So, I see lots of waves there. Bridget, hi Bridget, nice to see you. Um, uh, yes, I'm waving to all of you. All right, now I'm moving on to, let's see, I'm going to try grapefruit. Today is my day for doing citrus. Lid off. Uh, I really like grapefruit. You know, I have to say that when I smell something now, and, and you, if you know who I am, you've probably heard that I've lost my sense of smell four times. Once was the biggie in 2012, no sense of smell, eight years to recover. Then I had COVID, I've had three cases of COVID, and the last one was a really bad case, and I completely lost all of my sense of smell. And so um, I am amazed that I actually have any sense of smell. My sense of smell is as good as it was before COVID happened which is remarkable to me. Um, and every time I smell something that, um, like grapefruit, so grapefruit's one of my favorites, it just makes me feel so happy inside. I feel like a little flutter of joy in my chest. Right, okay, um, and the next one I'm going to do is going to be camphor. 
camphor is a kind of a medicinal one. There's probably camphor in things like Vicks or Old Bass oil. Yeah, it's got that sort of thing that you might expect if you had a bad cold. It makes your nose tingle a little bit, which means that it's stimulating the trigeminal nerve. Little tiny sniffs, really thinking hard about it as I do it. So if you're watching me and you're sitting at your desk, I hope you're doing this with me. And if you don't have any jars handy, go back to this um, short video when you do have your things with you. Right. And finally, I'm going to do pine. Another one of my favorites. This is my little goodie box of favorites here. Um, pine. Oh, so good. I grew up with pine trees around my house. I just love the smell of pine. And this is a really kind of wood shavings y kind of smell, not Christmas tree smell, but more like the wood shavings. Okay, um, people often say, well, if I can't smell, what's the point? Um, there is a lot of point to doing it. What you're trying to do is you're trying to engage the part of your brain that you use for smell, which is higher up, it's actually inside the brain, not in the nose. When you stimulate that part of your um, scent, uh, olfactory tract, you are actually doing good things for your olfactory bulbs. And that is a really, really important message. Um, as I say in the little text below, it's not about what you smell, but what you're doing with your brain while you are doing the smell training. Now, so that's enough uh, of a little bit of a lecture today. If you are participating in the research done by uh, the University of Stockholm, do please open up your app now, smelltrainingapp.com, and tell them a little bit about your experience of smell training today. This is a great study. These are some wonderful scientists, and by participating in that study, you are helping you, and you're also helping all the other people who lose their sense of smell in the future. So two reasons to feel good about smell training with their smell training app. That's it for me for today. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I'm, I'm kind of mixing up the times of day when I, when I go live. So uh, this is my first time so late in the evening, um, but I'll be seeing you again tomorrow. I'm not sure what time, um, but until then, happy smelling and keep going. All right, bye-bye now.